Okay, in this short video I'm going to show you how to uh, upload the WP Autospin plugin and how to activate it and how to basically use it. Okay, so I've just got a, uh, a fresh uh, WordPress site to set up here, WP Autospin demo site. It's a brand new site. Never been used before, as you can see. It's just the home sample page and the Hello World post. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the back end here and go in the dashboard I'm going to go to plugins I'm going to add new okay just got the couple of basic plugins there so we're going to add new and wherever you have got that downloaded to I've got mine sat on the uh, desktop for the purpose of uh, this demonstration so let's just go here Okay, and see, there it is, WP Auto Spin 1.1. Okay, install now, thank you. And that'll take, uh, it's not a very heavy script, that'll take a few seconds to upload, there it is, five seconds, something like that. Activate the plugin. Okay, so we've clicked activate, and it is activated, as you can see down here. Now, <coughs> with this plugin, there's no settings. Actually, or no separate settings page, I should say. We just go straight into it, and uh, we can spin pages, we can spin posts, but for the purposes of this exercise, I will spin a post. So we just go to uh, posts. At the moment, we just got one there. We'll add a new one. Okay, so the uh, page editor will open up, add new post. I'm not going to put a title in at all, as you will see why in a minute. And uh, what you'll notice though is down the bottom here, underneath the standard WordPress editor, is uh, a, another syntax spin editor asking you for activation. You can't actually see the, the editor yet because we haven't activated. So this, is a, this will only happen on the one single occasion when you first install the plugin. Ever after that, it will work uh, without uh, uh, prompting you like this um, each time you want to use it. Okay, so the em you put in your email address, which I shall put in here. Okay, that's usually your PayPal email. The activation key, uh, which is, uh, I saved that before, yeah, here. Okay, this will have arrived in the mail, in the email and uh, whack your activation key in there okay and this is actually handy here if you have a multiple or developer license and you go to install on a new uh, server uh, ask, ask you again you can't find your activation key but you've already activated once if you just click on that it will uh, prompt uh, an email uh, resend of the activation key for you so anyway let's just get started we're going to activate that and it says the plugin has been activated successfully. Please reload the current page. You've got to click on that. And so we're loading the page, and now what you can see is two editors. We've got the syntax spin editor, and we've got the normal editor, and they're both identical. Okay, we've got them in text mode at the moment, but you can have them in visual mode, all your icons will show up. And again, here, uh, text or visual mode. All the open show up for this purpose of this uh, exercise I'll just put on text and what I'm going to do is go to some syntax text which I saved earlier here okay now, so this is a, uh, a an article or a post uh, for the painting and decorating niche and basically it's what makes a good house painting contractor and uh, what I'm going to do is to select all of that I'm going to copy it to my pasteboard go back to my uh, WordPress page post editor here and in the syntax spin editor I'm just going to paste it all in okay and what you have to do and this is very important on the first time that you ever use this on each post or page you have to paste in identically the syntax code uh, the syntax text in, in both the, um, the normal editor and the uh, WP Auto spin syntax spin editor and what we're going to do here is okay I've got the title of the post here spun as well I'm actually going to take it out of the body of the 
post itself. And I'm going to put it in here, enter title here. OK, so there it is. And I'm going to do the same up here because they've got to be identical on the first spin. OK, it needs to look at both, see that they're both identical and then spins one of them or spins from the actual spinner and places into the editor. OK, so we're ready to go now. OK, um, we'll just put this in uncategorized. It would go in there automatically. But uh, what we're going to do is we're going to click spin now. OK, so we click spin now. And what you will see happen here is after a few seconds that will spin. And in the top editor, you can see all the syntax uh, characterization has gone. We've just got the actual editor itself, the, same, the, the text itself, the article itself. And we've got the, um, the title spun as well. So what we're going to do is we are going to uh, take a look at that. Uh, we are just going to save that. OK, so publish. OK, so uh, that has been published. It says view post. So we'll open this up in a, in a new window. And we'll go to that window and we'll see that the article is there. What tends to make a great house painting contractor? And you can see the article written up. Um, spun as we wanted it to be spun. OK, so now we're going to go back and just to prove that this works very well. We're going to just go and spin again. OK, so we're going to spin again. And this time the title will change again. OK, so it's just rendering now. OK, that time the, the, the title didn't change, but the text will have changed. And just to prove that, we'll go to OK, what makes a great house painting contractor? Oh, it did change. What tends to make a great house painting contractor? So you can see that the two put side by side are different. OK. OK, so that is how it is done. OK, spin now, which is on demand or auto spin. You can have it spin once per day, once every seven days, once every 14 days, 21 days or 30 days. So you just select the frequency and uh, once you've done that, let's say for instance you had it set on every seven days or well, seven days from now it will spin. And what we can actually do is we can close that up at any time. See there's the spin editor there, the normal editor. Okay, we don't have to have both showing, okay, if we're gonna leave that for a while. And furthermore, if we want to, we can okay, we've got here the syntax spin show on screen. Take that out of the options. So now it's not there at all. It's completely disappeared. It's invisible. It's not going to get in the way at all. But in one week's time, in the background, what will happen is this article and the title will get spun. OK, so one more thing I'll show you here, which is pretty important about the permalinks. Uh, when you spin an article, the title changes, as you have seen. It changed there three times, but the permalink does not change and if I just move this up here you'll see here the actual uh, permalink title itself and whenever we change the um, actual uh, page itself or the post itself um, the permalink you'll notice has stayed the same and uh, that's very good for uh, continuity of your uh, of your site or your blog and uh, great for SEO. Now if we go into, I'll just bring this down a little bit further. If we go into uh, posts or posts, you can see here that the uh, most recent spin, the title is changed there. What makes a great house painter? So uh, before when we had what tends to make a house a good house painter, that became the title and so forth. But if we go here to quick edit, you'll see that the slug is what the original one was, what tends to make a great house painting contractor. That's the pretty permanently, of course. It's a, for SEO purposes, you would have um, it set to uh, post name, uh, pretty permalinks. And the good thing with that is that your title will change, but your uh, permalinks will remain the same so that uh, it doesn't matter how many times the title of your uh, post or page changes, people can still navigate to the original because the permalinks stay the same. OK, that's it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to include images and uh, spin those in with the text. And you can also have multiple images and spin them as well. So we can spin images, we can spin uh, videos, we can spin, spin 
pretty much anything that's in a standard post weekend spin.